What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today when it comes to macOS 15.1 Sequoia, I'm actually surprised that this notification popped up that says software update is available. I didn't download this in the background, it's just downloaded overnight by itself. And when it comes to this specific macOS 15.1 software update, there appears to be an issue with Apple servers. This was more prominent yesterday when the update came out right there and there. Users were running into errors while trying to update to it. Some were trying multiple times and it would end up working. While others had no luck and had to wait until the servers were restarted and if i go on the more info tab right there you can see the update size for me comes in at 1.6 gigs and i'm updating from 15.1 beta 6 for some strange reason some users were able to sign into the app store and they got it to work and others had to turn off find my so it seemed to be an issue but after giving it a few hours you can see the update at least for me shows up with no problem now typically i would click the update size and see if the actual download file size is the same as the update size but you can see it downloaded it by itself in the background which i don't really understand but you can see some other operating systems that apple released the day before mac os 15.1 beta 7 so they released ios and ipad os 18.1 beta 7 tv os 18.1 beta 5 came out watch os 11.1 beta 5 and vision os 2.1 beta 5 you, even though mac os 15.1 beta 7 is out the apple developer page actually hasn't been updated with the latest update you can see they still have the release notes and the update here on the site is beta 6 with the a build but since i've already you know i downloaded it in the background unknowingly i'm just quickly going to restart my device and then we'll see what are the new changes that the software has to offer my device is now up to date and going into general and software update we want to see the new build number that this update introduces just give it a moment it's taking a little while to check for an update for some reason after updating to beta 7 and you can see the new build number 24b 5077a so this ends with an a and just comparing it to the previous beta 6 you can see them by side by side right there so this one ended with an a and also now the latest beta 7 ends with an a which is something that's good and hopefully apple updates this page too to uh, have the release notes of the latest beta 7 but in terms of what has been changed or what's new with this update one of the things that I'm, i forgot to mention in my previous mac os 15.1 videos is that on the update screen they mentioned that apple intelligence won't be available only in china before it used to be china and eu but it's just rewording and rephrasing on that initial page that you see when you update your device to the update and also when it comes to mac os 15.7 it seems to be a refinement update before the release candidate version comes out pretty soon we're going to talk about the release date coming up shortly but there's also a few splash screens that seem to be popping up one of the first one is if you open up the apple tv app going to tell you what's new in apple tv and they telling you about what's next is now uh continue watching and also you can add to watch list this was all existing but you can click continue and at the same time since a number of users request that i check this going into the playback settings you can see hdmi pass through is still there and this will allow you to play supported audio in dolby atmos and other dolby formats in high bitrate audio and it's good to see it's here and it seems like it's going to be released to the public with this but the actual apple tv itself doesn't have this which is kind of a bummer but hey at least we have it here on the apple tv on mac if you open up the voice memo application as well there's a new splash screen that tells you about transcripts stereo in recording and savers where you can save a new recording according to how you want to do it and it's nothing major but it's a new splash screen regardless in the home application when you open it up for the first time you also see a new splash screen and every time i open mine it seems to have this like delay for some reason but it has a new splash screen that tells you about what's new in home as well just like the previous update that i mentioned my airdrop seems to still be faulty at this point in time i can share files from my mac to my iphone but i can't share files from my iphone to 
my Mac and I've tried with an iPhone that's in beta, it won't send to the Mac on Mac OS 15.1 and at the same time it won't send from an iPhone that's not in beta. So at this point in time, I have sent the issue like twice now. And if you are having issues when it comes to the continuity camera that's supported here all thanks to handoff, at least when it comes to FaceTime calls, it seems to be working and you shouldn't get a black screen or no camera when you open up your FaceTime and use the background which has been resolved. Now, the main focus or push for this Mac OS 15.1 is Apple Intelligence, the new features that are going to be provided all thanks to the new updated Siri animation and also what Siri will be able to do. And that seems to be what's getting more minor refinements with each update as we go on, but there isn't necessarily new items or new features that are being reintroduced. We still don't have the Gen emoji and at the same time, the Apple Intelligence page is still in beta. But yeah, this is what this main focus is for Mac OS Sequoia 15.1. And also, if you open up your settings tab and you go to the Apple Intelligence and Siri settings, you can see they've made this sidebar kind of larger in order for it not to cover Siri before there was a section where the text might have been um, like covered on the side. And at the same time, it seems like they have made a good contrast between the sidebar in the settings and the actual page that you are in. It seems like this has gotten more gray, which is good in terms of contrast. And basically, that's all that this update has to offer. Not much when it comes to Mac OS 15.1 beta 7. Like I mentioned, this update is preparing us for the release candidate version from what it seems like. And the release candidate version should be coming out on the 21st or 22nd. But as you can see, this update was delayed compared to iOS 18.1 and iPadOS 18.1. So it's possible the release candidate of this update could be coming in way between the 21st of October to 23rd of October. But, but then, of course, after that, we should be seeing the official release of Mac OS 15.1 to the general public on Monday, October 28th or Tuesday, October 29th. Hopefully, that's what I think we'll see. And it seems to be a lot of sources seem to be pointing to that date. And other than that, that's about it for me. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.